If the horror becomes unbearable, you can relieve yourself with a scream. The person sitting next to you already will be. I am so excited. We have something huge for you today. Huge. The long-awaited sequel to a franchise that everyone's been dying to play. Valve, listen to the fans. After all your emails, death threats, comments, and everything, Valve has produced a sequel to Half-Life. I'm about to pass out right now. Half-Life 2 Half -Life is Life here. Two. We're going to find out what Gordon Freeman is up to, what new physics, what new graphics, what's going to try. I can't wait. We're going to play Half-Life 2. We're not going to go in. Welcome to Half-Life 2 at the computer. Now, Frank, people may ask, what's this got to do with Halloween? Well, we're venturing into Ravenhome. Oh, Ravenhome. Uh, Ravenhome is my favorite sequence from this game. I mean, I'll, we'll get into it, but uh, Half-Life 2 is, I consider to be one of the best games of all time and I, one I of my think favorite people games. people agree with that. Uh, and there's a, that game is filled with set pieces, but the Ravenhome set piece is awesome. And we're gonna play through the whole thing. Uh, I mean, this is your introduction. The thing that's so funny with Half-Life 2 is it has a lot of tonal shifts. It starts like 1984, uh, this incredible, dark, somber sci-fi, uh, and then you bleed through and it's in this crazy alien action. Oh shit, here's a guy. I'm gonna just fuck him up real fast. Um, and then all of a sudden it goes into this core and you're introduced to this gore, which is like kind of a weird, but it's like, all right, yeah. whatever. But even Half-Life 1 has more of a horror tone than the sequel does. Uh, but yeah, I kind of wanted to play this and show it off Oh God, there's so many things I could start with Half-Life 2. I guess the first thing I wanna talk about with Half-Life 2 is my own history with it. So I played, I didn't have a gaming PC growing up as a kid. I had like, you know, a Windows 9 and 98 computer that could play like Doom and Duke Nukem, simple stuff. Oh, here's the classic head crabs. You know what, I don't got time for this, I'm gonna fuck them up. Oh shit, see they're stronger. Uh, but, um, so I played Half-Life 1, it wasn't until I played it on the PS2. And even then, I really liked it. But then when Half-Life 2 was coming out, that was around the time Halo 2 was coming out. Yeah. 2004 was a huge year for video games. Um, Half-Life 2 came out, but I didn't have a gaming PC, so I didn't really care about it. But then, um, you know, I, it was still covered in gaming magazines. Like, it was still a big title for its time. But then I finally saw it on an episode of G4 TV's Cheat, ah. where they, like, kind of played through some boss battles and showed you all the secrets. And it was like, wow, this game looks really cool. And again, this is before YouTube. This is before you could really get video of video games. And so the game always looked cool, but I never had a good enough PC. And then my freshman year of high school, uh, you know, my my dad got me a good PC because I'd have to write papers and stuff on it. Um, and so I finally had a good PC, not a great one, but a decent PC. I got a cheap graphics card for it and I could finally play Steam games. And so I bought Half-Life 2 Game of the Year Edition, which came with Counter-Strike, uh, Half-Life 2 Deathmatch, Half-Life 1 Source, and I finally played it and oh my God loved it because i could finally have a game that was so detailed like for its time these graphics even the lighting like there's whoop <laughs> very, uh, 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 yep. good graphics very good graphics that looked realistic that was really realistic you know it's like a glitch in the matrix um it's like we're back in evil within uh for its time the graphics were phenomenal and the thing that stands out above everything else are just the physics um i'll start going through this a little bit faster like you have the gravity gun here which again for its time like Max Payne at its time starting to introduce like what I call asshole physics, but like the physics are just God. I mean, like I mean, this game revolutionized gaming because of its physics. Like, yeah. No one had ever seen puzzles that used yep. physics before, or just throwing objects around in a room like mm -hmm. killing people with it. Yeah, using it does more than just like here's a prop you can shoot up and destroy, but it's like oh you can actually throw objects at people. Like now Prey yeah. does amazing stuff with its physics. But like before it's time, you didn't really have that. And again, it's because they had, well, I think it was called the Source Engine, which like, oh, let's revolutionize gaming. But again, for its times, if you look at, like, look how awesome this is. That's really cool. Here you're introduced to Father Gregory. So Ravenholm is introduced as like, this used to be a mining town of people who escaped from the oppressive City 17, but we don't go there anymore. And they don't mention it now, but you come here and oh shit, it's nothing but head crabs. Ah, who is this? Another life to save? Hell yeah. It's like some walking keep my eye on you. More than that, I cannot run. Yeah, for 2004, this scene right here is pretty crazy that they managed to, like, accomplish this. Yeah, and again, like, the reason Half-Life 1 was revolutionary is because it told an awesome story, uh, but it was all done through in-game, like, first-person experiences. Like, it never cuts away. Yeah. Uh, like, Half-Life has... Half-Life 1 
and even Half-Life 2 have incredible like opening credit sequences that are pretty tedious and you see all the names, but it's telling you story in the setting. Yeah. And again, you're not cutting away, you're getting all this information as you're driving by it. Um, and yeah, for me, I came to Half-Life 2 a little later. I played it um, on the orange box, which yeah. I feel like is pretty normal for a lot of people, but mm -hmm. I didn't have a PC. I've always had like MacBooks and stuff growing up. Whereas it's funny because now this game can run on a MacBook really easily. Yeah. But I'd never had any PC, and so I went to my friend's house. They had a 360. They had the orange box, and we played. I played all of Half Life 2 at my friend's house on his 360. On, oh, nice. And then I uh, found out that it's on PS3, and I played it again on my own on oh, yeah. PS3. How does the how how are the console ports work? The 360 port of uh like the 360 orange box is phenomenal. It's like one of the best gaming packages yeah. of all time. Uh, the PS3 version is awful. Really? Uh, if if you oh, play the PS3 off. version of uh, Half-Life 2, it's loading every, like, mm. not a couple feet, but it feels like it. Yeah. It loads all the time. It doesn't run as good as it should. But that's back when Valve hated developing yeah. for the PS3 and refused to do it. I'm not even sure if they made that port or if they, like, made someone else make it. Um, but the 360 version of this game is totally, totally great. And also, they, they came up both episodes as well. They came up episodes one and two. Fuck this puzzle. What are you, what's going on? I don't know, I gotta get over here. I'm not doing this right, I don't even know if I have to get over here. Didn't you just play this? Uh, I haven't played this section in years. Oh, okay, uh, I'm an idiot. I totally missed this part right here behind this gas can. You turn this off, and then you go here. Anyways, that was a little I just seen moment. Yeah, a little I just seen. <laughs> it only took like 30 seconds. Yeah, know? yeah, it only took me five seconds, not yeah, yeah, not yeah. Uh, not 10 minutes. Anyways, yeah. um, we were talking about you played the PS3 port, so what was it like after you played the PS3 port? Did it live up to the hype? Or the 360 uh, port? The, well, like, um, when I played it on the, when I first played the orange box, I had no idea what Half-Life 2 was. I was And utterly, you hadn't played Half-Life 1, right? No, and I was utterly moved from hype, really, because I wasn't... Okay. Back when I played it, when I was, like, 15... You weren't, like, hyper-following game stuff, No, right? I wasn't really into games. I wasn't hyper-following it. So I had no clue that it was being considered one of the best games of all time. Yeah. That it revolutionized gaming. Mm -hmm. I just thought it had a cool atmosphere and was a cool story. And, yeah. Like, I, when I was that age, like, my friends and I would kind of play whatever we had. Be like, oh, let's just get into this. Like, we... Like, I don't really care about quality so much, you know? Mm -hmm. But it wasn't until, like, after I played it and then once I got my own copy, and that's when I got way more into gaming that's and started nice. reading about it. And then, not too long ago, I played through it again and uh, absolutely, like, playing through it with more context for what it did for gaming is, uh, like, it's still, like, really impressive today and still super engrossing today. Have you have you gone back and played Half-Life 1? No. Oh, fuck. The oh, no, I hate these, like, toxic assholes. I hate these. See, they introduce. So, the Half-Life 1 has the headcrabs, which already are, like, an incredible enemy. Like, they're just small but creepy, but, you know, it's like the Xenomorph things from Alien. Uh, but then they introduce these toxic headcrabs, which suck ass because they poison you. So, like, I mean, I think any good game design, like, especially survival horrors, you introduce an enemy, you're, you get used to it, and then you, like, you know, you, you twist it on its head. Yeah. And like when you shoot these zombies, the head crab comes alive too. Anyway, so that come off. Yeah, so you haven't played Half Life One? No, that, because like Half Life Two came out, like, because Half Life Two now is an old game, mm. and it's it's starting to show its age. Definitely. No, this looks great. I mean, it's I mean, I still think it looks good. I still think it like plays well, but it's slowly starting to creep up there yeah. to show its age. I think. Like I think in like another five six years, this game's really Fuck. start gonna start aging on us. But Half-Life 1 was yeah. always just a tad too old for me to- Right. It's like the same thing with System Shock 2. Yeah, that's I'm, too archaic for me. Like, I want to try it eventually. I'm but. sure like I would like appreciate System Shock 2, but it's just a tad too old mm -hmm. for me to really want to try it. So I've never really tried Half-Life 1. So Half-Life 1 for me, again, I loved it, revolutionary. Uh, another thing, it's silent protagonist. So I love that like, here you are, Gordon Freeman again. But from your time in Half-Life 1 and Half-Life 2, you've become a legend. Everyone knows about the free man, Gordon. Yeah. Oh, where's Father Gregory? Well done, brother. Where's, where's he talking? Make free use of my traps, but take care not to fall in there What are you talking about? Yeah, I gotta be careful of the traps, yeah. The yeah, traps come I'm alive. Gonna... I'm gonna say, oh shit, I'm gonna save real fast just in case I fall. In Ravenholm, you do well <laughs> to be vigilant. Be vigilant. Hell yeah. So, like, you just get the gravity gun at this point in the game. So you can start picking up stuff and paling people if you don't have ammo. I think there's an achievement also for beating this section without using guns, which is kind of cool. I've never done that. Uh, yeah, because that's why there's, like, razor blades everywhere and yeah. saw blades everywhere. Yeah. There's also traps. Let me see if we can do this. Oh. Oops. Oh, you fucked that up. No. But again, I, let me try one more. Let me reset. Hold on, everyone. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Oh, yeah, I got one. 
Damn like it. stuff like that for 2004 is Hell crazy yeah. that they put that in there. Well, like, especially the physics were so good. So like this game, amazing. But what I played more than anything, I think in 2005 was what's called Gary's Mod. Mm -hmm. So initially this was just, I think it, was, it wasn't it was even on, because when this game launched, they didn't really have the Steam store where it's a millions of games. So it I was, thought Half-Life 2 launched on Steam. It did, but it was just so you could buy Valve games. Yeah. Um, and they introduced other stuff later. Oh my God, I'm, just, I'm doing really good. Um, I down, there was a fan mod called Gary's Mod, and what it was is it was like essentially a playground for Half-Life 2 stuff. You could spawn any items from Half-Life in it. You could spawn NPCs. You can. It was just like a really easy way to like fuck around with the source code. So I would spawn zombies and then make my own like Home Alone traps mm -hmm. and stuff. And like you could just do a lot of fun stuff with it. Uh, like I loved loved Gary's Mod. If anything, now I wouldn't be too surprised if more people got exposed to Half-Life 2 or know of it because of Gary's. Mod. Yeah, and that, yeah, and that's because and that's what led to like. Rust and like yeah. I think even just like with it predated Minecraft with just like oh players making stuff I used to do role-playing servers on Gary's mod. Oh, okay, there was a server yeah. called like roleplay 1998 And you could like either be the gun shop owner or you can run a PC store. Don't you make fun of those kids now? I do but hey, yeah But hey, you know I, what you know, just want I make fun I, I used to make I that. made fun of kids who role-play online. I make fun of people who uh, do let's hey. plays on YouTube hey, I what's, what's wrong with that? Uh, you know, it's just ain't my vibe but this is cool. If you're watching this, you're you're. This, isn't, this isn't a let's play. This is a uh, critical analysis and a game review. Here's my analysis just, of Half-Life 2. Yeah, it's cool. Yo, it's cool. Yo, it's, yo, cool. it's spooky. Yo, oh, oh, yo. Now it's, it's a react video. Yeah. We're gonna pretend we're really scared. Oh, oh, it's on the door. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh, no. Don't forget oh, to no. buy my uh, t-shirts. Oh. Donate to my. Ah! Page. <laughs> That was spare. You, I, I'm, I'm gonna be quiet that so much. You <laughs> broke our recording of this game. Hey, wanted me to react. Yeah. All right. What the hell. That doesn't look like a door you can open. <laughs> I see what you, whoa. Yo, he helped me out. Shoot him. Oh, I was hoping That's you'd throw cool. me a gun, but no. It is you, brother. <laughs> yeah, um, dude. No harm done. Hey, look, the, you got the Who the fuck? Yo, fuck that dude up. Oh, shit. Oh, you're surrounded. I got my machine gun. But yeah, I used to go to uh, internet cafes. Yeah. And my friends and I would just play Gary's Mod for hours. Because again, I didn't have a gaming PC, and I wasn't super into games back then, but my friends and I, like, Gary's Mod is universal. You don't have to be yeah. into, like, Half-Life 2 to enjoy Gary's Mod. So, yeah, my friends and I would just literally, like, let's spawn thousands of cars yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. The other fun thing to do with Gary's Mod is, um, I mean, this is what happened when I was a freshman in high school, is you'd go into servers and spawn stuff until the server crashed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it doesn't sound cool now, but back then, oh boy. Oh, that's some, hey, Craig, you were a cool dude back I, in yeah, the day, weren't I was, you? I was, yeah, dude, that was great. Role-playing in <laughs> Gary's Mod, crashing people's servers. Like, now you do Let's Plays. No, yeah, cool I do dude. critical analysis. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'm a filmmaker. This is art. I'm a filmmaker. This is, a, this is history, history, gaming history. Here's my film. Yeah. It's called Half-Life 2. Oh, okay, so here they introduce... Oh, what is this thing? This looks weird. These suck ass. I mean, they're cool, but... So you're fighting these head crabs, and then you fight these head crab zombies, and then they introduce this, like, spooky hyper zombie. Uh, Not they, hyper zombies. Yeah. Now, um... And, and spooky. I'm gonna throw a grenade down there. Also, one thing I like about this is like it's very fast, you know. Like in Doom, yeah. thankfully, it's fast. But I love old first-person shooters because it's like, God, they move so goddamn fast. You can they pop feel around. so different than like modern first-person yeah, shooters. Yeah, whereas Call of Duty, it's yeah. like slow, and you. Just, but this, it's like you don't even aim down the sights. You're just running and gunning. It's also fun playing old PC games because this is running at like 200 frames per second. Yeah, back in the old days, these loading times would take forever. Now, because I'm playing on an SSD, it's instant. I just made a new save. One thing that's also, what I think I really like playing Half-Life and Half-Life 2 is as a kid, I sucked at games, but you could just save scrub constantly, yeah. make a quick save, and like, you know, it was pretty fun. See, look at uh, how they introduced so, that. Look at so the way cool. that shot's composed. Yeah. They fly over it, that's Again, awesome. To give context, you just have to look at other games that came out the same year that this came out, and you just quickly realize how this game stands like above all of them. This is a tough cookie. Yeah, that's a little chocolate chip. And then, fuck, they drop these spooky head crabs. Spooky. Yeah, and again, they introduce it. There's no cutscene. It's just you casually see it in the distance. Yeah. But the light, see, the moon is lit there, so your eye is drawn to it. Because that's another game design thing, is your eye is always drawn to the brightest thing on screen. So there's a light up here. Oh, I'm going to go in here. It's telling me to go in here. See, the light, like, guides you. I love seeing that, especially, like, in The Last of Us uh, or any game. If you have to climb on something, Horizon does this, there'll be yeah. some yellow paper trailing it. And it's like, oh, I know I can climb on here. Uncharted, they make stuff pop. Little, like, art direction cues like that I love. And like that's why I want. I wish there was more stuff. That's why I love Daniel Dwyer's doing no clips. Just I want to, to know how developers make games and just like oh, custom build. Like, dream video if he ever does that Valve video. Yeah. On anything. I know because they're so secretive. They're so secretive. But if he ever ever gets the chance yeah. to do a Valve video on anything, I don't. I don't even care if it's about Dota. Dota ugh. I, yeah, I, it's still I'd, like the top people. Yeah. I would still the watch Magnum's it. Juicy, I love this. Oh yeah. 
there's people for the longest time wanted a Half-Life movie. That'd be so dumb. Like, I get that. Yeah. Like, Half-Life as a game is perfect. You get this first-person story. I don't want to see a fucking dork dressed in glasses. Well, also, it's like... The half life's always been famous for, famous for this, and, like, games like Bioshock and stuff have taken this as well, mm -hmm. where they tell everything within yeah, the in-game yeah. cutscenes, mm -hmm. and with, like, you just looking at There's in, no cuts. You know, no I mean, cuts. technically, it loading, but yeah, yeah, that's right, there's, there's no cuts. There's you don't no cuts. jump from one it's thing. It's all one thing. And if you if it, they cheat it, you have a teleporter, yeah. but it's like, yeah, there's no cuts. Or you, even nowadays, that's kind of rare. Like, yeah. even nowadays, a lot of games don't do that, because it's actually kind of hard. give me the shotgun? stirred up hell. Hell yeah. <laughs> a man after my own heart. Yeah, this guy's cool. Here I have a more hey, look at the lighting on this. Like, yeah. Spotlight yeah. Lighting. You'll need it. Catch. Oh, yeah. How tight is that? Keep it close. My advice to you is aim for the head. Nice. Also, it's... <laughs> that water looks cool. It's yeah. like a... To know how important Half-Life 2 was and the Source Engine is, is that they're still making games with it today. Yeah, they're still making mods. Yeah, like, what was it, like, two years oh, ago, fuck. they made the Prop Hunt mod, which blew up and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, that was awesome, and that, now yeah. that's what Prey is, essentially. Oh, oh so I didn't juicy. even think about that. Yeah, Prey is Prey Prop is Hunt. Prop Hunt. Prey, Prey is we, Prop Hunt. Here's my review. Prey is Prop Prey Hunt. Prey is Prop Hunt. Jump in the water. And then they kept updating. Like, the water didn't look this good when the game came out. They, like, yeah. uh, retooled Source Engine. They added Bloom later. Oh, scary. Yeah, I replayed this game in 2010. So I first played it like 2005, and then I replayed it on uh, when they made it available for Mac. Because at the time, I had I didn't have a good gaming PC till like 2016. Um, so I replayed it on Mac because that was my editing machine. And like, oh my god, I loved it. Because I played it at high resolution, max graphics. It was very, very fun. Yeah. Or am I supposed to go? I think there's fall damage. I'm going to test it. <laughs> uh, that's fine. You're fine. Oh, and then there's... See, The Last of Us has enemies. Like, these bloaters type yeah, enemies. Yeah, there's a bunch of head crabs on it. Yeah. And this game's got a good story, too. Like, the opening sequence of this game is still one of my favorite, where it's... Oh, it's, it's amazing. It's 1984. It's like, welcome to City 17. You know, Getting like... Getting off that train. Oh, it's awful. It's just a sci-fi dystopia. Yeah, yeah. Dude. And that's why I think Half-Life 2 as a sequel is phenomenal, because Half-Life 1 is an incredible game, but you're in a science lab the whole game. That's yeah. it. And then it evolves, and you go to space later. Half-Life 2 is a complete... It's still like the ramifications of an alien, you know, working with the aliens. It's Half-Life 1, it kicks ass because it's science fiction aliens and military takeover. Half-Life 2 is the same. It's aliens and a corrupt government, but it goes... It's so dark just in terms of the drab, gray, dystopia society. Look at this gore and everything. Yeah. Like... They don't repeat themselves while doing something completely new and still carrying the charm. Uh, and that's why, like, I get that people want to see Half-Life 3. But, like, again, I think it's just it's a completely gener different generation. Like, Prey is good. I mean, that has some, you know, like, it's not Half-Life, but it's, like, Prey is amazing. Yeah. Like, like, I'm not... Bioshock, that's, you know, there's other people who have kind of carried the tr carrying the, the torch. torch. Yeah. yeah, it's like... Oh, yeah, I... like, Arcane, that's just, Titanfall 2. Like, you are getting good first-person sci-fi shooters. If I, if, hey, if Half-Life 3 came out... Hell yeah. I'd be, I'd be down to play. But, yeah, I'm not holding my but breath. But I just don't, like, there's other Valve properties that I care more about, and I don't know, yeah, I'm not dying to play it. Like, we already have two of the greatest games ever made mm -hmm. from yeah. Valve. They don't need i don't feel like they have the need to like do it again and that's the thing that sucks is like i mean i still haven't played half-life 2 episode 1 or episode 2 like that's on my backlog i'll play it soon enough so it's like i could if i want half-life 3 i can consider that half-life 3. Yeah. but like i could also be a generational thing is i didn't play half-life 2 at launch i didn't play half-life 1 at launch so for me oh, i played these games fairly recently i don't mind um but like yeah when people harp on valve it's like hey it's just the business climate is different all yeah. the money's with multiplayer all the money's with source like hey valve half-life 3 is, is steam you know yeah. for what steam did for the video game industry that is just good as an impact it's more impactful than half-life and the main reason why people complain is because i've played episode one and two as well and it does end on a cliffhanger uh, okay. it ends on a st like hey the story is not done yeah like this you you resolve some things but man i have a lot of questions still and the story of half-life 2 is not complete and, of, and Valve came out and said, like, oh, yeah, it's coming out soon. We're working on ha episode three. And Jeez. then it just never yeah. came out. So I understand why people upset because, yeah. like, hey, I would like to see that story and they've, through, too. And they've never officially, like, confirmed it. So that's why there yeah. is this weird misguided hope. And I get it. But, but yeah, I'm not yeah. holding my breath. There's other games. I mean, we live in an era where there's too many games to play. Um, so it's like, I don't mind. Also, Game Newell has said, like, they aren't ruling out single-player experiences. Uh, he, there was an ama I'll link this. There was an amazing uh, AMA uh, where Gabe Newell, like, was fairly candid about stuff. He said, like, yeah, we're still developing single-player games. Like, if yeah. we have something announced, we'll announce it. But one thing he said incre that was incredible is he's, like, people asked him, like, oh, you've had so much success. What was your greatest accomplishment? And he said, like, yeah, we made Half-Life 1, we made Half-Life 2. We did Steam, we did Source, we're experimenting with VR. He says, I feel like my career is just getting started. Hmm. And, like, I was like, oh, my God. And that's how, like, computer programmers are, like... 
you know, it's like they I'm like always on to the next. Yeah, thing. it's like like you know, it's like never resting on their laurels. But it's like the fact that they said that. It's like you know, he considers half like, oh, that was just oh, that was just practice. And it's yeah. like, but it's like he's but he in the same breath he said like we're st we, we're still developing a single player thing. And they also did Left 4 Dead. Like they're trying new stuff. So it's like if they do Half Life Three, hey, they, they did Portal, which is amazing. Yeah, and that Portal was is amazing. And again, they took a chance on like that was a small project, and yeah. even you know, and like yeah, Portal is yeah, Portal and one and two are Half Life Three. You know, like yeah. so it's like I. Yeah, you have to, it sucks like it's nothing's happening immediately, but it's like they're still working behind closed doors And it is that that is the bummer that they are so secretive But at least like we don't get disappointments like again tying to EA and Visceral They announced hey, we got this yeah. single-player Star Wars game and then it didn't happen If they had shown Half-Life 3 stuff and then that would then people would miss it But they've never shown anything. So it's like okay. It's it's yeah. almost vapor. I appreciate how close the like they play yeah. to the chest. Yeah know, How close they keep their cards mm hmm because yeah, they only want to release quality and I get it and hey, like, I've had fun with Counter-Strike. Like, they still are supporting enough shit. But yeah, it's like, I still want solid single-player games. Here's, yeah, there you go. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like, I would love if they released Half-Life 3. And I get that, hey, Half-Life 2 and 1 are, like, some of people's favorite games, period. Fuck That's the all they, like, care about. So I, I understand they want it so bad. But I think, personally, I would, hey, just make a new single-player game Yeah. from Valve. Anyway, I would love a nuts. new IP people from Valve. People would me, wait. Um, I, Fuck. I would love that. These are so rare. As a kid, this was a lot scary. I think it's also because it's 50, so let me think. 12 years later, I'm way better at video games. Also, I'm like, are you? <laughs> hey, <laughs> don't bottom, don't fucking, can you beat Zombie Revenge? Hey, I'm just, hey, you, hey can you beat Zombie hey, Revenge? I, well, hey, if, who I, lasts, if, who lasts if someone who didn't steal longer? all my bullets, hey, that's the I would have beaten him. That's the tactic. I like also in Half-Life, these things get nuked down here and aliens spawn out of it. Like, it's so kick-ass. the fuck do I go? See, also, like, the the thing constantly evolves. Like, you don't stay in the same type of environment in Half-Life for long. You're constantly pushing forward and evolving. Did I come from here? Oh my God. Also, like, this game is a master class at, like, introducing you to an environment and then having it loop around mm -hmm. layers on top of layers. And yeah. Have like, everything there's connect some verticality to each other. To it. Yeah, I feel like I was supposed cool. to go up there. All the environments in this game feel very big and lived in, whereas a lot of games from this era, like, the environments yeah. felt very flat and lifeless. Mm -hmm. And again, like it's still kind of mid 2000s, a little drab, yeah. but like you do have some colors in blue. And again, mo every element of this game looks different. Like after this, you have, I mean, before this, you had this riverboat sequence where you're driving up, you're driving a vehicle in first person shooter. Yeah. And it's a little janky, but it's still for its time. Like, wow, that was great. You know, like Halo didn't, wasn't able yeah. to nail first person driving. They, they, op they optimized into third person, which is actually even better. But it's like Valve still attempted something brand new. And then after this, you get your car and you're driving down the coastal highway, which That's is so amazing. Cool. And you're going Going these part. bridges that aren't constructed, and they have to do these ant line. My second favorite sequence in this game is the ant line puzzle, yeah, it's great. where you have to stitch together cardboard uh, boxes and like planks to like avoid being eaten by these uh, starship trooper aliens, which kicks ass. But then this sequence is just like yeah, this is perfect for Halloween. Like this is so cool. And again, at the time, I loved zombies. All right, where do I go home? Ah, there you are. At last, I will send the cart for hey, you, brother. It will be but a moment. Hey, brother. Hey, hey. Card yourself well. All right, I didn't pay attention to anything he said. Where do we go? He's running off. I think you just gotta fight people. We gotta fight some zombies, dude. You gotta make sure the city's safe. I don't see no zombies. They're gonna surround you in a sec. Yeah, see, there you come. Here you come. Oh, maybe I gotta wait for him to get over there. Yes, you're right. I have to defend this shit. Well, this is a cool sequence, too. Again, for its time, I was obsessed with like Dawn of the Dead, Shaun of the Dead. Uh, this is before the zombie implosion, so it's like getting this sequence out of nowhere. This was a surprise. No yeah. one knew there's gonna be crazy zombie stuff. All right, kill these. Am I ready now? That was it. I thought you said there's gonna be a big, big way. <laughs> hey, I said some. There's another one coming. Booyah, that's like Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4 came out a year after this. Oh, that's crazy. That sound effect, the Wilhelm ah. scream. That's awesome. I use that all the time in videos. It's our real monster scream. I'm waiting for him to get over there. Here's something. Is he wheeling over or something to me? Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. There's more aliens coming. Aliens? Oh, yeah, you're right. There are aliens. Alien zombies. Oh. There's a bunch of, like, alien games I want to play. There's, like, a like Alien vs. Predator 2000. <laughs> it's like, that's a good title. Do you really want to play it? Yeah, it's a first-person shooter. I wanna, what do you mean? Yeah, I bought it on Steam, dude. All right. I want to play Alien vs. Predator, the Capcom beat em up I want to play Alien Isolation. I want to play Alien 3, the arcade game. There's a lot of alien games. I mean, I played Alien Isolation. How was it? It was okay. All right. I didn't beat it. I got it, it's fucking long. It's like 25 hours. Where's he going? See <laughs> see. It's like Mirror's Edge. I want his rifle. All right, I see. You are to be commended for avoiding my traps. 
uh, the work of a man who once had too much time on his hands. See the graphic, like even for his time, this is amazing for quality. But the work of salvation. I suspect you have little wish to remain in Ravenholm, so I will show you to the mines. Hell yeah. As for me, do you want to play some Minecraft? The shepherd must tend to his flock, especially when they have grown unruly. I catch him, shit. Follow me, brother, and tread lightly, for this is hallowed ground. This is hallowed ground. This is hallowed ground. Hallowed ground. Hallowed ground. Hallowed ground. Hallowed ground. And then you go through the mines, and then the mine leads you to the beach, and then you get to the alien ant farm sequence. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, man. Smooth criminal. But, like, yeah, just look at the lighting and all this, and the zombies and everything. This is so gorgeous. And then now you're in the graveyard. Oh, this is good. This is some thriller shit. I think Father Gregory's with me, too, so he'll be helping me out. I'll let that alien kill Father Gregory. Hey, man. He's just the father. So yeah, okay, now we got this. Oh my god, shit. Okay, hold. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. I thought. Whoa, okay. Can we rewind the tape two seconds ago where Frank said he's very good at video games? I am very good at video games. See, Father Gregory, save me. Jesus Christ. I thought that was like, all right, I'm ready to get in my car and go meet some aliens. I didn't know there was this fucking big fight scene at the end. There you go, there you go. Mess him up, mess him up. I'm gonna do some quake hopping. <laughs> Bunny hopping? Yeah. Whoa, that was tight. Father Gregory's cool as hell. Right, he got some blood on his jacket, dude. He's wearing Converse? That's cool as hell. <laughs> dude, he's a sweet father. He's yeah. casual. He looks like that guy from like Rob Zombie's movies. You know what I'm talking about? No. The clown from oh, House of a Thousand yeah, yeah, Corpses. Yeah. That big dude, that Armenian guy. Yeah, yeah. That guy's... Rob Zombie shit's gross. Rob Zombie's a kind of gross. Yeah. I think... Uh... Oh, wait. You mean Rob Zombie makes gross movies? You don't say. <laughs> he's just a crusty dude. He makes gross movies, gross music. Uh, kind of gross everything. Him, Rob Zombie, his movies, and his music are all covered in, like, mud. Mud, yeah. Yeah, just a dirty dude. I always had this idea for a sketch. I'll just say it instead of filming. But I had this idea for a sketch that was, like, oh, behind the scenes with Rob Zombie. And it was, like, all the actors on set getting ready. And, like, you see this monster. And, like, oh, my God. And it's, like, oh, no, I'm the director. I'm uh, Rob Zombie. Oh, I thought you were the monster. And he's just covered yeah. in dirt and shit. Oh, uh, no. Oh, Dreads I, hanging I thought, out. Yeah, and they, oh, they, uh, they, they think he's, like, the monster or whatever. Uh, uh, and it's just, like, oh, my God. That was so scary. Are what? you in makeup or something? Are you no, dude. This, no, no, this is just me, man. Smoking <laughs> cigarettes. Just being real crusty and gross. Hey, I'm, he's, I've listened to interviews. And he's a cool guy. But it's just I mean, yeah. that aesthetic. Hey, well, that's very <laughs> that late um, 90s. Everyone You're into who, that. You're into that Marilyn Manson everyone shit. Everyone who really likes uh, Rob Zombie smells bad. <laughs> Garrett likes Rob Zombie. I mean, he yeah. smells nice. He showers. I, he's not like into Rob Zombie. Oh, okay. Like I, 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 I don't mind a Rob Zombie song. I like White Zombie, but I feel Is like that the band was White Zombie the band before Rob Zombie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. They sing uh, like Thunder Kiss '65 and stuff. I don't know but like, uh, if you're really into Rob Zombie, like he's your fave. You smell bad. Hey, uh, no hater. If you're a Rob Zombie fan, leave in the comments. Leave a comment saying you like Rob Zombie, and I'll comment back. Yeah. Ooh, you smell nice. You smell nice. So yeah. Uh, and post a video of your like smells. <laughs> We're not that yet. Hey, maybe that's what have. Uh, maybe that's what uh, Source and Gabe Newell are waiting for. You have for. the email address. They're, email us smell wave. We have Gabe Newell's email address too. Uh, it's Gabe at uh, at valve.com. Ask us. Hey, when Half Life Three is coming out, can you give us smell vision? I want to know what Gordon smells like. Oh, we just like. Yeah. We threw it. Yeah, let's see. See, he's just like picking up these things and shooting that out. Okay, I can't get close to him, Gregory. You lit this whole thing on fire. This graveyard this graveyard is lit right now. Oh, is that lit? It's lit. Yeah. He's standing on people's graves. That's hey, hey, uh, joke. Uh, here lives Half-Life 3. I'm gonna do that mod. And I'm gonna Wait, get let's just and have a moment of silence for that joke. This is, this is so good. He gets killed. See that Twitter notification? People are already retweeting that joke. They haven't even heard it yet. All right, seems so, so bad. Can you bury me with rip saws on top of me? Just in case you're in yeah. a situation like this, someone can yeah. use them. Probably Gregory's a little too stoked right now. He's been waiting for this this whole yeah, life. Yeah, his life sucks. It's boring. <laughs> what do you think he's gonna do? Fighting an endless horde of zombies. Where does he get food in here? Zombies, dude. Damn. He eats the zombies? I feel like you that would spread to him. Nah. Jesus. <laughs> Unload my clip. I don't like these poison things. They suck ass. There we go. See, I like this little father-son thing we've got going on here. Father-son thing? Yeah, he's my dad. He's protecting me. I mean, this is... Yeah, let's see. <laughs> see, he's impervious. He looks nervous. He's standing in all these graves. All these switches! Oh, he's gonna hold the gate. 
I hate. Oh, you fuck. He, he can't help me out right now. He's gotta press this button, and I gotta defend everything. Come on, go. Oh, he's holding the gate. Yeah, I thought. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was gonna be a sense where I had to defend him. All right, whatever. All right, later, nerd. Thanks Again, for Frank, help. Very good at games. He gave me a shotgun, so. You gonna... The door is talking to me. No, I re 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 all right, whatever. See, I also like the game. You can run away if people are talking to you. Like, whereas Evil Within, they trap you in the room for an hour. Yeah, like, you have to stare at a fucking ghost. Yeah. Anyways, that's that. Uh, now it's kind of like speed. You gotta go down the the elevator shaft Jump down and it. save Keanu Reeves. So that was Half Life Two, developed by Valve in 2004. One of the best games of all time. One of the most influential games of all time. Uh, the graphics, the physics, the storytelling, the, the blending so many genres and elements into something that's so unique still holds up. I was playing this for like a few hours last night doing research and oh my god, like I was having fun. Um, yeah, this game is incredible. If you've never played it, this is like required. Like you need to play this game. If you're going to it fresh, it may not be the best game you've ever played, but it's still pretty cool and yeah. you'll find that charm there. It's on PC. It should run on any machine at this point, Mac, PC. There, you can get it on 360 or PS or Xbox, but just play it on PC the way it's kind of meant to be played. Yeah. Uh, any any your, any thoughts on your end? I mean, uh, like I don't have the like I didn't play this right when it came out, but even yeah. coming to it years later, like I did, it still holds up incredibly well. One thing to point out is if you absolutely do not have a gaming PC for whatever reason that can't run it, uh, the backwards uh, Xbox One is backwards compatible with the uh, orange box. Oh, the orange box. Selection? Yeah, so you can Very play cool. it on your Xbox One if you have that. And don't play the Xbox version because I hear that version sucks. But like, yeah, you gotta yeah. you gotta play the PC. And then it's funny enough, this is the same Game of the Year edition I bought when I bought this from Best Buy in 2005. So yeah, good. This is an even better bundle. And again, if you have never played it, it's on. Get it on Steam sale for like 250. But I think everyone's played it. Two crowbars up. Am I right? Am I right? Hey, Am I right? hey, Am I right? two, two portal, uh, two companion cubes up. Two, no, that's a different game. Two, uh, uh, two, um, two head crabs up. Two gnomes up. Gnomes? That's episode two. Don't spoil that what? game yet. We don't. No, it's not. Okay, emails. You've got mail. Today's fan art comes from Rob C, who sent us this lovely little doodle he sent. I think this is our youngest fan we have on the show. Congratulations, Good a, job. A for Good effort. job, buddy. I think we're going to print this out and put it on our uh, break room refrigerator. Uh, break, break fruits, really water like cooler. it. Good job, buddy. Happy Halloween. I'll give you a piece of candy. Uh, you get a gold star. And then we had a quick email from Ivan. He really liked our Dead Space episode. He asked us more about Space Or. He asked if we've ever played Dino Crisis 3. Uh, my history with Dino Crisis, I have the first one on PS1. I never beat it because I thought instinctually dinosaurs are much scarier than zombies. That game's too hard, so I never beat it. Dino Crisis 2, though, I see Dino Crisis 2 as... Dino Crisis 1 is Resident Evil 1. Dino Crisis 2 is Resident Evil 4. Not as great or impactful, but Dino Crisis 2 is an awesome action game. You're upgrading your weapons. I love Dino Crisis 2. The ending made me cry as a kid. So maybe we'll show that game off in the future. I've never played Dino Crisis 3 because it got really shitty reviews, and it's only for Xbox, but... Picture this. You're on a spaceship in the year 2600, but there's dinosaurs on it. I'm into it. Who doesn't want to play that? So I think we'll do an episode of Dino Crisis 3 in the future, maybe. But in the comments, let us know uh, what you think about Dino Crisis 3. You know, that's a game that people really need to talk about right yeah, now. Yeah, I don't, I, you know, it's underrated for sure. Underrated. Let's Undershirt. take a look. I will take a look at that in the future, though. Thanks for the suggestion. Leave us more suggestions of what games you want to see. We'll be breaking out of this Halloween uh, stranglehold in a bit and we'll be unleashed and free to play whatever we want but we're still not going to listen to you we'll play what we want to play but you know free to leave comments email us at the computer show at gmail.com follow us on twitter i'm at frank howley i'm underscore brewsomes and you know you can ask me questions on tumblr i'm, I'm on facebook but that's just for old people don't use facebook don't ask me questions follow me on instagram whatever you want you know i know my insta hoes out there like Yo, me tag me down, D whatever you want um don't email me some monkey business yeah anyways we'll have fun with that we'll see you next time at the computer.